Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. And Matt, while we start out with you, can you tell us, give us an overview of the partnerships that you've formed and uh, give us a highlight of what the significance of that is? Sure, Judy. So um, as a lot of folk know, um, Siemens has a broad set of tools to help with electronic product development. We've been working with Microchip um, for over a year. About a year, right? Just yep. about a year. Microchip bring to the table a tremendous amount of experience in what their clients are trying to do from a development perspective. And you can see from all the technology around today, all these um, solutions that they're trying to bring. And so what the partnership is really about is how can we help their clients develop their products faster and with higher quality? And how can we bring that knowledge that Microchip has of their components and how to interact with their clients and our design tools so that we can make that as seamless a transition as possible from thinking about what product I want to build to experimenting with the different chips that Microchip has that might help me build that solution to actually implementing that on a schematic and in a board and then taking it down into manufacture. As you know, Matt, we've complained for years in our industry about being stuck in these silos, right? But it sounds like what you're saying is the partnership is about making that a reality with the power of Siemens tools and products that Microchip offers. Roger, what do you, what do you see as the major significance of this partnership? So I think it enables you know our clients to uh, immerse themselves in our designs. Um, it makes it easy for them to uh, uh, search for different components and, and how to add those into the system. So we issue a number of reference designs that our clients can use. And um, the Siemens tool change makes it easy for them to bring the reference design in and then play around with what different types of components that I could use to achieve my design. Because, you know, Reference designs aren't really a one size fits all. I have always got to tweak that design to enable different features. And so the Siemens platform enables us to come in and analyze a range of components and then tailor it to the client's application specifically, and then quickly go from that phase all the way through schematic into PCB. And then now we're working on solutions that looking into the future, help them go from the schematic all the way through coding into manufacturing. So from really s simulation or building out a application specific evaluation and then dragging that schematic right into Siemens tools, is that what you mean? So I think from my perspective, it's, and Matt can speak to this maybe, it's going from paper napkin to production. Okay. That's so we like the dream, isn't it? Well, we talk about it in sort of three phases. One is sort of an engagement phase, right? I mean, there's all this rich information that's getting more and more complex. If you look at a data sheet, it can be 1500 pages. You look at some of the reference design material. How can we help engineers to consume that material more easily? Then Judy, as you said, sort of historically, everything was a little bit siloed, right? I might get the reference design from here, the schematic symbol from there, the PCB layout from over here. I have to sort of stitch them together to make sure that they all work well together. I might need some simulation models, et cetera. And so what we're really doing is trying to make that information as consumable as we can. And so as Roger said, you know, how can I go from a concept and then quickly go from the concept to an initial implementation and test that implementation. I don't want to have to keep building prototypes. I want to be able to test it digitally. That's a little bit of the digital transformation that we talk about. Then how can I take that and get it onto a schematic and then into a board and then make sure it's ready for manufacturing? So that's sort of how can we go from a disjoint flow into a flow that starts in the microchip environment where all that rich digital information is and then seamlessly moves into implementation and manufacturing. Maybe from um, different places, you have to make sure that they're then correct when you integrate it together. Yeah, there's that. And, and, so, <laughs> and so when we did this, a lot of those challenges just disappear because it's connected digitally. And then as Roger said, a lot of the development time went down as well because we were using AI either for the software or 
um, for the initial conceptual design or for finding information in that sort of mass of information that exists today. So Connect and ParkQuest design enablement, is that part of sort of moving towards that seamless from napkin to product experience that Siemens really holds as a company vision? Yeah, yeah, I think we're trying to give our designers more and more tools so they can flow easily from one tool to another, enhancing the existing workflow that a lot of companies have from initial idea all the way down to production. So using, because I remember early on, I did all my reviews via PDF. So I would zip up my design, put it on a file share, email the engineer, hey, it's ready to be designed. So they're taking those old school ways of doing things and using modern design tools to really elevate that experience. So it really aligns with their overall mission from start to finish. They're just throughout each step finding ways to elevate that experience. So making it cloud-based versus having to install it or instead of having to look up each part individually. So it really aligns with their overall mission there. And then during the first 30 days of customers in uh, Pads Pro Essentials and Expedition Standards, uh, we have what is called onboard support, and that's where my role comes in. I reach out to these com customers once they make a purchase. Uh, me and my team will go out and support them, take feedback. This is a great opportunity for us to learn what the customers are needing, and then I will take that feedback and try to get it into the tool as much as possible.